Hi everyone, welcome on board to Helper.tv where you get the reliable news that is tailored for you and of course where you can actually comment and interact. I say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel and if you're yet to subscribe, kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded. From our president of Nigeria, Olusegun Obasanjo, has said that except Nigeria stay together, the country would be devoured. He said this at the 64th Anwar National Convention of the Four Square Gospel Church in Nigeria held at the church campground in Ajebo, Ogun State. He also called on all Christians to emulate the ways of Jesus Christ and speak up against the challenges in the country. He said as Christians we have to be like Christ as we are transformed into the likeness of Christ or little like Christ. So, in all positions, situations, and events, we should be guided. If Christ was in this position, in this situation, or in this event, what would he have done? We have a lot to do in the situation we find ourselves in this country today. And make no mistake about it, if we don't get together and stay together, we will we'll be devoured. And that should not be taken lightly. For me, if Christ was in Nigeria today, it will not keep quiet. It will say it as it should be said. It will speak truth to power. It would have no fear and would have no intimidation. Children of God, you have a responsibility to do and say what Christ, Jesus Christ, would have done and said if he was in Nigeria um, today. Well, a lot of people are not buying this kind of crap talk from many of these corrupt politicians that have brought Nigeria to where um, we have. And the question I want to ask OBJ and any of those dudes out there, they call themselves elder statesmen. Who is devouring who? Who are the devourer? And who are we going to be devoured by? Or what? That is what we need to ask. Are the people speaking not the people that are actually devouring Nigeria? Someone said someone should ask him and tell him that they like to be devoured very quickly as that is the prayer of every suffering man. The commonwealth is shared in his cronies' pockets are being devoured back to the common coffer, someone said. And I was saying I'm not sure what OBJ means by Nigeria being devoured. Speaking truth to power that be that B is commendable. However, taking practical steps to determine the desirability of the union is more commendable. First, union is naturally unstable and will disintegrate one way or the other. Even the Roman Catholic Church permits divorce under certain circumstances. A first union that thrives on injustice only breeds sorrow, woes, wanton destruction and tears. Those who believe that they can use force to coerce, intimidate and cower others into servitude are living in self delusion that is just what someone here has to say well in my own personal opinion i believe this do these groups of people they are the ones that have devoured nigeria and they are ready to continue devouring nigeria the only time they speak truth to power is when they are not the game player this man has had his own opportunity in nigeria there are a lot of amount of money that he took in the hope that he was going to provide electricity but unfortunately that could not be done because Nigerian electricity has to be made in Nigeria for Nigerians, unlike the telecommunication that it concluded and brought in. Why? Because it is not made in Nigeria. It's actually foreign companies coming into Nigeria, setting up their private businesses, and definitely they will make it work. If they have to bribe, they will bribe. But in this case, who will be bribed for us to have electricity in Nigeria? This present administration talked of billions of naira that went into the coffers, into the pockets of this same, uh, this same man talking. But yet, we do not have electricity working in Nigeria. I oftentimes wonder where and how those people speak. Where is this thing coming from? There was a certain time we also heard that there are certain private workers being paid out of the government's pocket by this same administration saying that this man paid salary from 1970s till 
I think two years ago when it was stopped, one year ago when it was stopped by this administration. These are the people saying that we should stay together, we should find a way of working together or we will be devoured. I wonder who is devouring who? These are the people devouring Nigerians. He might claim that he has done his own beat, he has acted in in, in the most exceptional way that he could, but then uh, there are a lot of questions that begs for answers. There are a lot of questions that begs for an, for answer. Yes, during his own administration, he claimed that he must have brought EFCC to tackle corruption and certain things, but there are a lot of hidden stories back and forth where you can actually point to corruption. And it seems he's a master player, he knows how to go about his own, unlike certain groups of people that have been pointed out. An example is the vice president to him, and that is Atiku, that wanted to become president by force. These are groups of corrupt people. The administration, past, present, they are all corrupt. Now, that is not to say you will not find corruption in certain uh, quarters in other countries, but then are we going to use that as the yardstick to, to, to determine how things are supposed to be done in Nigeria? In Nigeria, we need drastic change. And that name Nigeria, it's like a, it's a shameful name. We need a change. Either they find a way for decentralization of government, either they find a way to make sure that punitive measures and also transparency is the religion that will be practiced. But what can we say about it? If religious, religious leaders and politicians, they are all sleeping on the same bed, groups of corrupt people is a shame and even average nigeria average citizens living in that contraption called nigeria many of them they are terribly corrupt their value system has been derailed many of them hunger has been used as a weapon to subjugate them and they are slaves to their own reasoning they cannot reason properly they are slaves to the reasoning of these elites and not their own they can't reason properly. What a shame. So, the question I'm going to put out to you guys. Who are the people that are going to devour Nigeria? What is going to devour Nigeria if, as he claimed, if we don't stay together? I'm going to leave you guys at that. What do you think is the answer to this? Who are the people? Drop it at the comment section below. And if you're not part of this channel, simply tap on that subscription button and the red notification icon bell. That will automatically make you a part of this channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for stopping by.